Buongiorno e benvenuti, I'm Stephanie Smith from Liner Luxury Real Estate and I'm here today to show you this historical villa for sale near Pisa. Check it out! Today we are in Crespina, near Pisa, which is a pleasant drive from Livorno that boasts the most beautiful crystal clear waters and beach locations. But not only, it is less than an hour away from Florence and Forte dei Marmi. The closest town is La Guardia, which is 500 meters away and offers all the necessary services. Privacy will never be an issue here, thanks to the 30 hectares of land that surround the property. This land is naturally rich of water. In fact, throughout the 30 hectares, there are three bodies of water. Right now, we are on the path that leads us from a parking area below that can fit up to 100 cars, straight to the villa. Throughout the garden, there are more than 250 lights, so you can enjoy a scenic view over the garden from the golden hour and on. The land is divided between a part of woodland, arable land, high quality vineyard of Vigna Cristi, and olive grove, which counts 1,000 olive trees from which the property makes its own olive oil. We are right below the villa that is developed on terraces and already from here we can see the countless statues and columns that simply add to its elegance. But now, venite con me and let's take a closer look. We have arrived at the property, surrounded by lemon trees and with a dominating view over the lush countryside. We are greeted by these botticino columns that frame this beautiful fountain. And right behind it is the elegant staircase covered in jasmine that provides such a pleasant and sweet perfume. We have arrived at the same level of the villa. To my right is the first of three accesses to the estate. The villa is surrounded by these beautiful secular oaks which provide shade and are lovely to look at from the windows. The villa was built in 1895 from the famous Macchiaiolo artist Augusto Rey. This area in fact is quite famous for the Macchiaioli artistic movement and we can see some of his work inside the property. The villa was thoroughly renovated only two years ago, so it offers all the modern comforts, however maintaining a classical style. The villa is 1,000 square meters, is developed on four floors, has nine bedrooms and 10 bathrooms, which have all been replaced recently. The hallway is the focal point of the floor, around which all the rooms rotate. Already from here, we can see the timeless classical style that makes this a true residence museum. But now, come with me and let's start from the library. 
The library has stunning frescoed ceilings that were painted by Augusto Rey himself. And it's almost as if we were standing underneath a gazebo, looking up at the sky. Even though the library maintains a classical style, it also has some modern touches. Here we have a double couch where you can just sit and relax with a good book while enjoying the fresh room. Speaking of freshness, the villa is naturally fresh thanks to the thick stone walls and the shade provided by the secular trees. However, each room has its own AC unit. The library flows straight into the dining room. Here we are in this majestic dining room. This room is called La Sala delle Colonne, given the many marble columns that surround the space. This area of the house was added in a second moment, but nevertheless, as impressive as the rest. Central to this 90 square meter room is this large table that can sit up to 28 people. Throughout the house, we have a Sonos sound system, so you can enjoy your music in each and every room of your home. From here, we can access the spa area that we will see shortly. However, the most distinctive feature of this space is the many windows that surround it, allowing natural light all day long, thanks to the southwest exposure, a sense of openness, and allows you to enjoy the breathtaking view of the countryside while you're eating your meals. This is not a common feature to have in a historical villa. From the internal dining area, we can now access the Terrazza Belvedere that offers the most spectacular views that can be enjoyed by adding a lounge area or an external dining area. This area is framed by these lovely cotto pine cones that add elegance to the space. In fact, throughout the whole property, there are more than 300 statues. Also from here, the view continues. And on the corner, we have a charming gazebo where it is said that the artist used to paint. The reason why Augusto Rey wanted to build the villa in this specific location is because he fell in love with the daughter of the Sala family that were the owners of that villa over there. This way, he could admire her from his own home. And to celebrate that love, he painted two frescoes on the facade representing a man and a woman. Even though their love was purely platonic because there is no record that they ever got married or lived together. Right now, we are right above the swimming pool and spa area that can be accessed both externally or internally. We are now in the hallway that connects us to the spa and swimming pool area. It is illuminated with LED lighting, and this is simply one of the many features that makes this property unique. The spa area maintains the same classical style as the rest of the house. It features a spacious sauna and a hot tub. The hot tub is actually part of the external swimming pool that can be closed off so you can enjoy it all year round. It can be heated up to 37 degrees and has a massaging cascade. The spa area is developed on two floors and on the bottom floor is a changing room with shower and bathroom. This is one of my favorite parts of the property. I absolutely love this infinity pool. I mean, just think you're there swimming with the view over the countryside, simply amazing. It is 20 meters long and 2.5 meters deep. It is made of reinforced cement covered in stone, which gives it that beautiful color. And it has an automatic cover. The pool is surrounded by a sunbathing area and has a hot and cold shower. And the cupola that you can see on the opposite side is actually an ancient well. Opposite to the pool area is this external dining area that can sit up to 18 people. This part of the villa has a southwest exposure, 
so you can enjoy your al fresco meals or a nice aperitivo with the most beautiful sunsets. This area is embellished by a fountain and right below us is another terrace with a cozy lounge area. The dining area transits into this double living area. Here we have a first sitting area that looks onto this beautiful functioning fireplace. From here we also have a lovely view over Torre Alta del Bugallo. Back in the day, this whole space used to be the property's stables, as we can see from the original, less refined stone floors and from the vaulted ceilings. Over here, we have a second sitting area that can host a larger number of people. We have a lovely view over the garden and natural light thanks to the large French window. That is one of the features that I absolutely adore about this property. It maintains a classical style, although has those modern touches that make it absolutely unique such as the many large French windows on the ground floor that gives us access to the garden, but also lets in a lot of natural light. From here, we can access the property's kitchen, which has a typical style. It still has its original kitchen. It also has a modern kitchen that has beautiful marble countertops and backsplash, and is connected perfectly to the dining room. Adjacent to the kitchen is a guest bathroom that serves the floor and a second dining area. This space has a central chandelier and frescoed ceilings painted by the artist himself. This is the perfect room to host smaller and cozier gatherings. And from here, we have a lovely view over the garden. Now that we've seen the ground floor, if you'll follow me, let's see the rest of the house. Also, the first floor has a spacious foyer that connects each room on this level of the house. Over here is a first queen-size bedroom with its own ensuite bathroom, and adjacent is the study. If one wanted, this space could become an extra bedroom with private bathroom. The bathroom has beautiful marble floors and a rain shower. As mentioned, the bathrooms have all been recently replaced. Thanks to this separator, a passageway has been created that leads us towards the French window from which we can access a lovely terrace with lounge area. From there, we have a view both over the garden and over Torre Alta di Bugallo. On the opposite side of the separator is the study that has beautiful wooden floors. From here, we have a direct access to the adjacent room. This room has lovely frescoed ceilings and cotto floors. It is a multifunctional space because it could be transformed into another bedroom or become the walk-in closet to the master bedroom since they are directly connected. The master bedroom has elegant furnishings and refined frescoes on the ceiling. This room has a double exposure that looks onto the secular trees and the garden below. From here, we flow into a second space, which also has lovely frescoes on the ceilings and from which we can access a romantic balcony. On the opposite side is the master suite's living area that is embellished by a lovely stone fireplace and enchanting frescoes on the ceilings, which gives the space both an elegant and homey atmosphere. We're on the top floor of the villa. Here we have four queen-size bedrooms with lovely cotto floors and exposed wooden beam ceilings. 
From here, thanks to the glass staircase, we have access to the turret on top of the villa, from which we have a 360 degree view over the surrounding landscape. Always on this floor is also the property's home theater. Here is the home theater with projector and Dolby surround sound system, making this the perfect place to enjoy movie night with your friends and family. Also here, we have gorgeous cotto floors and exposed wooden beam ceilings. The estate features three villas, each with their own annexes, for a total of 4,000 square meters. Apart from the main villa that has been thoroughly renovated and is 1,000 square meters, the estate features another two villas which are in need of thorough renovation, among which is also La Torre Alta del Bugallo. From here we have a second access to the property and we can reach the villa's annex. So if you'll follow me, let's check it out. From here we access the villa's annex, whose shape reminds us of the stables of villas back in the day. The annex features two bathrooms and a large lounge area that is still being renovated. It also has a balcony covered in jasmine, so this beautiful perfume follows us throughout each external area. Adjacent is a gazebo where you can enjoy the mesmerizing view over the surrounding countryside. However, the focal point of this area is this prestigious central fountain surrounded by olive trees alternated with columns. From the annex, we can access the second parking area surrounded by olive trees that can fit up to 12 cars and leads us towards the garden of Dionysus and Apollo where you can take leisurely and relaxing walks. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed yourself as much as I did. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I can't wait to see what you thought of this stunning historical villa for sale near Pisa. On that note, ciao!